I'm Laurie and I have got a torpedo boat model. This is actually a patrol torpedo boat, a PT-15 in real life, a Japanese boat, but this particular model is essentially a toy. It cost me £43 in 2021, but I think for the money you get a really good model and I might consider detailing this one up and turning it from a toy into a proper model. Anyhow, let's have a look and see what is inside this one. That's inside it. That's the motor torpedo boat. It comes with some components in a bag, aerials and a board that goes at the rear of the vessel. Take these two polystyrene inserts out. Then we can carefully lift it out and there she is, pretty nice. Now this model comes with a red hull or a blue hull, you can pick either. I've got the HT2877B, I think the B stands for blue and the A stands for red, I'm not exactly sure. So other than that though, they look essentially the same. Now there is the on off switch to power it up. When you switch that on that will make the lights glow once the batteries are plugged in and there's some also some test switches here if you put a wet finger on that you can test the propellers this boat has no rudder it turns by operating the propellers inside the rest of the box we have the controller and the rechargeable battery for the boat itself you will need two double a's for this transmitter they fit in there and it has forward and reverse control using the finger and then using your other hand you turn it left and right and there's the on off switch so fairly straightforward some of these boats seem to come with a two stick controller this one didn't the model also comes with a USB charger so you will need if you want to plug it into the mains a USB adapter plug or you can plug it into any USB port and that connects to the battery and charges it up. In the bag of components you get a couple of aerial masts for the model. Now that's where the holes are actually on a real PT-15 this mast connects to that one and bends at an angle. It also has two other masts coming up here so I might model those one day but for the moment I'm just putting those on and then if you wish at the rear of the model you can connect this doesn't seem to hold very well so I don't think I'm going to put it on I might glue it on later I'm not going to put it on for the moment doesn't actually quite line up either. This model is named the HT2877B. The HT I think stands for Heng Tai, which is the name of the Chinese company that made the model, founded in 1980. They make lots of radio control toys, but this is actually a model of a Japanese motor torpedo boat the PT-15 and if you research that you'll find pictures of the real boat. Now to get to the battery compartment you rotate this dial there and just slide that off. You then get to another battery compartment that is watertight with a couple of dials you rotate. Take the lid off and then connect the battery up. There's a lead in there, a little bit fiddly but plenty of room and that goes in there, that slides on, we we'll take those around, put the cabin back on, you'll notice the LED there, it glows when the model is switched on. Yeah. 
So we switch the model on and as we do that you'll see the cabin lights glow. So you know it's on, switch the transmitter on. That transmitter then searches for the model and once it finds it, it stops flashing and turns a constant shade of red or goes off. <laughs> okay. And now that is all set, it's all programmed. Now it only operates in water or operate otherwise unless you press these two little buttons here. You need to wet your finger and then press it. And you can see that it's going quite nicely. You do have to have a very wet finger though. So as I say, I researched this boat online and I found out that it's a Japanese patrol torpedo boat, a PT boat, the PT-15. Now, there are some differences between the model and the real boat. For example, these things, these canisters here, which have the word power written on them, I can't see them normally on the real boat. So if I model this, I might remove those. There's also a couple of canisters, I'm not sure what they are, that are around here, that are normally on there. So I might model them from something else. Might put a couple more aerials on and reposition this mast at an angle to that one. It looks more accurate then. Otherwise though, it is pretty close. It needs to be sprayed grey and then weathered, given a slight wash perhaps. And all the life belts and everything, all the details are pretty much in the crap place. I need to remove certain little transfers that are on the torpedoes, but the torpedoes were colored, it seemed, with a yellow, red, or blue tip to them. These red components should just be gray. I'm not sure if they're magazines for the 40 millimeter Bofors guns. So what now, I suppose they're anti-aircraft guns. I'm not completely au fait with motor torpedo boats, but that's what I think they are. It claims it's one 115th scale, but I think if you imagine that's a doorway for a person, it gives you a rough idea of the sort of size figure that should fit. That means this boat is very, very large about 150 feet long and normally motor torpedo boats were about half that so maybe the more modern boats are larger still it's a lovely vessel I'm hoping that it sails at a reasonable scale speed I think it's just going to be one speed forward and one sort of turn it's not differential control it's not different digital proportional control it's just uh, on or off. Still it's nice, these components are a little bit flexible to try and avoid breakages. Mm -hmm. mm. I think it's quite nice, especially for the money, so let's give it a go.